What's going on guys? Welcome back. In case you guys have not heard, Mother Talzin is an absolute beast in Phase 3 with a Night Sister team. Her constant revives on her Zeta leads, fueling damage with Asajj Ventress, turn meter on old Daka. You're talking 10 million plus damage with this team in Phase 3. It's a lot of damage. It's a really healthy amount and it's great because they give us a solid Phase 3 team that's not bounty hunters that are pay to play and lots of Zetas on them. So the original concept of this came from the Night Sister server with MMO Pro Nick. He gave video footage to half face 01 who'd had the original video guy but was taken down due to copyright issues that I won't get into for this video but I got their permission to go ahead and put out this guide for you guys in the meantime so we'll go over how to set up the team we'll talk about mods and then I'll walk you guys through a fight where I did on my own without the old Daka Zeta but still did 4.3 million damage so we'll walk through all that together but first let's talk about how you want to set up the lineup when it comes to setting up this team for Phase 3, the first thing you need to know is that there are four spots that you have to use absolutely required characters. Obviously, you have the Mother Talzin lead, you have Asajj Ventress, Old Daka, and Night Sister Zombie as the four that you absolutely need to use. In that fifth slot, I recommend you use either Night Sister Initiate or Night Sister Spirit, but Night Sister Initiate is going to be better, which I'll explain later on as to why she's better for this. And then for the Zetas for this team, you're going to have two required with the Mother Talzin lead and the Asajj Ventress unique rampage both those are absolutely required for this and then a third zeta with old daka with her unique zeta which is not really necessary but is highly recommended because it's going to really make this fight a whole lot easier again i'll explain that later on but these are the three zetas that you really should look at investing in to really make this team work so I said a moment ago I would explain a little bit more in detail how things work and we'll go ahead and go over those Zetas first and the Zeta with Mother Talzin with Great Mother whenever a Night Sister ally uses a basic attack during their turn a ram defeated Night Sister ally is brought back to life they are called to assist and then they are defeated if its attack does not kill an enemy so what's going to happen here is Night Sister is going to be revived then die and then that's going to fuel both the uniques with Daka and Asajj and speaking of which We'll also then go and look at Asajj Ventress next. With her Rampage Zeta, anytime that an ally or an enemy is defeated, she gains 35% turn meter, gains 15% crit chance, offense, and 5% max health stacking until the end of the turn. This Zeta guarantees the turn meter gain and also gives plus 5% bonus offense and crit chance and the 5% max health. So all that stuff with the Zeta is going to be great here. So anytime an ally is defeated through the Mother Talzin Zeta lead with the reviving and the constant dying, this is going to fuel the turn meter and the offense and the max health gains with Asajj with the Zeta on her rampage. And now with the old Daka, I said this one's highly recommended, it's not required, but if you really want to help boost your scores, you're going to want this. Anytime an ally is revived while old Daka is alive, she gains 10% max health stacking until the end of the encounter. So as soon as an ally is revived through the Mother Talzin basic attack lead with the constant reviving, that's going to be 10% max health stacking every time. Not to mention, Night Sister Zombie always comes back to life. Every time Night Sister Zombie dies and comes back, that's another 10% max health on old Daka. So all of that really helps boost the health with old Daka. It helps boost the damage on Asajj Ventress. And one other thing, I mentioned that you want either Night Sister Zombie or Night Sister Initiate for the uh, because of their attacks. Anytime an enemy resists a detrimental effect, all Night Sister allies gain 5% turn meter. And this is going to be helpful because both Night Sister Initiate and Zombie or er, and Spirit can both do debuffs on their basic attacks. I recommend Initiate because you have the chance to get two dots if they if Initiate inflicts a critical hit. That's two dots. That means two dots are going to be resisted, which means 10% turn meter for your team. But with that, you only get 5% with Night Sister Spirit because Night Sister Spirit's basic attack applies speed down. So I would recommend that you go for Night Sister Initiate over Night Sister Spirit. That's just how I think you should roll with this team. That's my recommendation. Let's go ahead and get into the modding. First up, with Asaz Ventress, you want to run crit chance and crit damage sets on her. Give her high speed and high offensive secondaries. That means she's going to move often, she's going to be hitting hard, and of course she's going to get the quickly stacking bonus damage. So she's going to hit fast and hard with that. With Night Sister Zombie, you want to go with health and speed sets. Mod for bonus health on her. You're going to want her to be at least a little bit durable and also fast too, so she can quickly get those taunts back up. Exact same mod set for old Daka. High speed, high health. You really want her to be durable and make sure that she stays alive of course the more health that she has already the more health she's going to gain from her unique zeta with the stacking health 
For Mother Towson, your best bet is to go for offensive and crit chance sets on her. Ma for some bonus offense. You don't really want to make her durable here. You just want to add to her damage. She'll be called to assist. She'll do some better damage. And for Night Sister Initiate, if you are running her over Night Sister Spirit, my recommendation is to go for three crit chance sets on her. You want her to do a lot of critical hits because that guarantees the two dots applied from her attacks. That means that that's going to be a lot more bonus turn meter. So if you can stack up her crit chance, that's going to be great. However, I've got to mention here, if you are a brand new character, or if you're a brand new player trying this team for the first time, I highly recommend that you don't use mods on Talzin and Initiate here first time around. That'll make it easier for you to kill off those two characters really quick. Quickly. It's gonna make the run easier for you to set up. So it's gonna be able it's gonna make it easier for you to figure out the pattern, get it set up on your own. Because as a warrior, this team is a bit of a pain to set up if you're not really well versed in it and not practiced. So my recommendation is don't run mods on them the first time. Get the practice and get it set up on your own. But definitely do not stack protection on these characters. You need them to die. So if they start running a lot of protection on these characters, it's gonna be much harder for you to kill these two characters right away. And it's gonna be more difficult for you to get the run in correctly. Correctly. So with that, let's go ahead and go into a fight that I recorded earlier, and I'll walk you guys through it step by step. So we're going into the run here from the very beginning, and you can see that you're going to have some damage eaten up by the zombie. You want that? That's fine. You can go ahead and dispel the counters if you want to. However, you could also use that to get some damage in on Talzin. Remember, your goal here at the very beginning is to get rid of both Initiate and Talzin through any means necessary, but don't let them get isolated. You want Nicer Zombie to eat up those isolates. Let that happen. You can use the counters here from that to get some damage in on Talzin. That daze is going to be helpful. Start taking out some of the sabers if you so desire, but also start hitting up uh, Treya with your attacks. Start getting that bonds of damage of weakness in that bonds of weakness damage in with these guys because again that is how you're going to get rid of these characters. So you can see we already took out Initiate and now we just have to get rid of Talzin. However, that is going to be easier said than done as you'll see here in a moment. Talzin is a very tanky character by nature. With gear 12, she has 30,000 health and protection each. So that's very hard to do here. You can see I went for the da for the topple here, start building up that damage with Asajj. You can see that Asajj is doing about 27,000 right now with her Rampage Zeta. And you'll see as things start to build up, we're already up to 32,000. But once you get rid of Talzin, it's going to be much easier. However, again, like I said, easier said than done. As you'll see here in a moment, Daka is going to buy it. And that kind of usually means that your run's over. However, if you play it correctly, you can do a whole lot better. Now the trick is going to be getting old Daka to come back. And again, easier said than done. But uh, if we can play this correctly... We should be able to get the Daka revived in time to get some nice topples in. But for now, we just need to buy, we just need to eat up the isolates through zombie, fuel that damage on Asajj, and just keep her going and time it correctly so that we get Daka revived instead of Tao's in there like we did. But just like that, Daka is back, and as you can see, there's almost no health at all on Mother Talzin right now. So the next time that we get a that uh, that Treya is going to come back up out of her topple, Talzin is going to buy it, and that's going to be it. So here, you could use the Mass Assist with Talzin to get some damage in, but there we go, just like that, Zombie's down, and that's some more damage in with Talzin, and Talzin is now finally gone. We've got the Saber Storm on with, uh, with Zombie, and as you can see, I stood alone here with Asajj. I used her to clear Bonds of Weakness, and now it's pretty straightforward. You just start using basic attacks. It's a bit of a mess to set up, but once it's set up and it's running at full speed, it is a beauty to behold. As you can see, the constant revives, fueling the Terminator on both Daka and Asajj, and you just see that damage with Asajj Ventress just absolutely skyrocket. And then at this point, I should note that there is no boost with the health on Daka because I do not have the Zeta at this time. So again, you will need to use a special with Asajj to keep Daka healed up because as you continue to defeat the Sabers and topple Treya, she and the Sabers will continue to deal bonus damage. And if you don't have that Zeta with Daka, it's a little risky. Here, you're going to have to just basically go straight for the constant topples every time. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. You can see I heal things up a little bit. I get some more damage boost in 
with Asajj, use her special, and knock out all the Sabres again at once. And it's just a constant cycle here. So you can see we are quickly building up this damage on Asajj. So you can see now we're up to 84,000. We'll go ahead and fast forward. And yeah, 109,000 damage now with with Asajj Ventress. It's really simple once it's set up and run. You use Night Sister Zombie to eat the Isolates from Darth Treya, and you basically just let the uh, let the let the kids have at it and just uh, just wreck uh, Treya. And that's really it. There's not much to it once the topples up, but the getting things set up so that you can get this correct team lined up so it's just daka asajj and zombie there that is the hard part once you get that figured out things are much easier as you can see when initiate is coming in you can see those constant resists on treya each of those resists is five percent term meter on a nice sister ally and there we go 124,000 at this point and yeah it's just uh it's very simple lots of damage now i know the big concern for a lot of people is going to be is is this team going to get nerfed? In my opinion right now, it is completely working in the spirit of the raid. However, we've seen that before, and yeah, you never you never know. So it's it's something risky. Um, at this point, you can see I lost Daka. That's why you want the Zeta on Daka, because she would have that constant stacking health, and she wouldn't eat all of the uh, all the damage. So here, the run's over, everyone's died. 4.2 million, so not too bad here. You can see Asajj did 3 million on her own. I had no mods on either Talzin or Initiate for this, and I still did 700,000 with with Mother Talzin. So if you can get those boon if you can get that bonus offense mods on her, that's really gonna help boost the damage. But again, without that Zaydan Daka, she's gonna be very easy to pick off once the topples come into play because Treya gains bonus damage every time an ally is defeated. So that's the risk without running the Zeta on old Daka. So that is a raid run pretty much in of itself. Pretty easy, stand straightforward to figure out. The trick, like I said before, is just getting the correct nicest to die. If you do have something happen where Daka buys it, you gotta time it correctly, you gotta kill those lightsabers at the right time so that you can get the correct revive in. You just have to basically keep it in your mind, try to get the rhythm figured out, so that Daka just died, so I need to do two more basics, and then do the next basic to attack and kill someone, and that will get me the death, or that will give me the revive with old Daka. But at the time, I wasn't thinking about that. So, yeah, that is the trick. You need to basically always keep Daka, Asajj, and Zombie up, kill the other Night Sisters. So that's pretty it, pretty much it for the strategy here, guys. If you have any questions about this, I'm sure you guys will have questions about this. Feel free to ask down below. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys later.